Today on Too Many Projects Garage, we're gonna be working on the Alto, replacing some plastic pieces that you can no longer find with the power of 3D printing. Stay tuned. So the first part we're going to be replacing is these little pull tabs. I'm missing most of one right here, and this one is a crack on the top, so I'm gonna CAD up with using some free CAD software, some that look just like this, and we're gonna use my 3D printer to print it. Now, I'm not gonna print it out of just normal 3D printing plastic because that doesn't hold up very well in the heat of the summer, and UV doesn't hold up well. I'm gonna use ASA filament, which is really good for interior car pieces. It's very similar to ABS, which is what a lot of the pieces in this car uses, but it holds well better to uh, UV uh, rays. So we're gonna do that. And I'll show you on the computer what that looks like. Also, I've already got the dash piece out of here, but the vents, the little piece that holds the vents, like little veins together, broke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna CAD those up and I'll show you what that looks like on the computer as well. So the lighting is not the best out inside my house. So as you can see, those pe that piece that holds all the little veins together to direct the air, Right here, it's just totally broken. So what I'm gonna do is design another little piece to hold all those together, so that way when you move the little, little nub there, side to side, it'll move all the veins with it. I apologize for the screen recording, but here is the first model I designed. I cat it up for the pull, and then here is the second model. We're gonna 3D print to hold all the pieces together. Here in a second, I'll show you what my kind of prototypes looked like up until the final part. So first, I printed this one, but the uh, angle there where it kind of chamfers down into like right here where my finger is moving, that was too steep, was not steep enough. So I did it again. And as you can tell, it's more of a sloping angle. It looks a little nicer. So that was pretty much the final part. That's only two prototypes I had to do. This one's pretty much final. And then that was the first one I tried. And then we have this piece. I made the holes a little too small. So I redesigned it, made it a little bit bigger. They're still a little too small. And then I redesigned it. And then I have one of my spare vents and looky there. It, it fits and it works as intended. And uh, you could tell this is like what it uh, turned into. Watch this, just snaps like nothing. So definitely in need of replacements. So we're about to get the 3D print started. The printer is heating up, getting ready to print the ASA. I will show you a time lapse shortly. So I lost the audio, so I'm re-recording this. And uh, as you can see, that one printed pretty well. That one did not. And so I've got to print some new ones. Success! As you can see, these fins are not aligned. So let me line them up so I can get the 3D printed piece attached so they're all working together here we go here's the piece I'm about to put it on there gotta get it aligned correctly it's gonna be a little fiddly all right there we go it's on there let's see how it looks or how it does oh yeah perfect they work just like factory And as you can see from this side, it looks really good as well. All right, here we go. Let's take out this old kind of crappy broken one. Let's get that out of there. And let's install this freshly made new one. And it just kind of threads straight into the plastic. That's the method I did rather than using like a metal insert or anything like that, because this will work just fine. I have the hole tapered so that way it'll screw in really well should just stop any second now okay I think that's good I think we're in there let's do this and we got to take off the old little crappy piece yeah I shoved some uh <laughs> some cardboard in there because I was making a racket I need to figure that out too but that's future Josh I'll worry about that later 
Okay, that's off. Let's put brand spanking new one on. Takes forever to screw on. There you go. They are both replaced. Check it out. She pulls right up. Pulls right up. That is a success if I ever saw one. Now let's do the dash. We've got a fully wrapped up dash here. It needs a little dusted, but we've got, that's the one I replaced right here. Totally works, as you can see. Kind of hard to see in there, but trust me, they're working. This one works, this one works, this one works, and they all have the little veins, which I'm super excited and happy about. Uh-oh, we got a broken one here, but it's the passenger side, so I don't really care. <laughs> Don't really care. Ah, successful 3D printing adventure. Good stuff. So day two of 3D printing car parts for the Alto. I decided that I could not handle the fact that there was no cup holders or anything to hold drinks while you're driving in the Alto. So what I did was I 3D printed a can holder. Ignore the dirty floor. I need to clean it. I need to get me some floor mats too. But check it out. I got a 3D printed can holder. Got an empty can here. My drink of choice. Check that out. Fits perfectly. I love it. Ta-da. So yeah, I just cat it up. You know, I figured out the angle using an angle gauge at how this is going to... I kind of use this as the surface this little line here is the level surface because I figured that was level with the car. Took an angle gauge, figure out what angle was like 17 degrees angle. And then I just designed the cup, you know, the, and I measured, used some calipers to measure the size of a can because I usually only drink cans anyways. So it's perfect. And if it's, and I think it looks pretty uh, factory other than the fact that it looks 3D printed. It looks pretty factory. Also, I put some nut certs on either side here because this was just loose and there's no screw, there's no threads at all in the mount. So I put some nut certs in there and M5 screws. So definitely far and improved little entrance. Oh, and yeah, here's the day, here it is in the daytime, the one that I fixed. Oh man, I'm loving it. And then of course, the replacement pieces back there. So. Far improved, and eventually I'll get around to fixing this one right here because this vein isn't attached anymore. So I'll get around to that once I actually feel like taking that vent out. That's a little harder to get to than these three vents because these three vents are attached to this. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think 3D printing is the future of car repairs, especially with plastics and old parts that you can't find anymore? I definitely think so. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Also, thanks for my members, my two members. I'd like to have some more. Um, if any of you guys feel like supporting me, let me know. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is uh, get finished on the Pulsar. And then after that, we'll be on the, the Accord right here, like nobody's business. So stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you guys next time.